The Personas Fader Port is a single motorized fader and controller that works with most modern digital audio workstations. To set it up with Ableton Live, plug it in via the USB and external wall wart, hold the stop button, then release and click output when it starts to flash. Go to the MIDI sync tab in the preferences and add Mackie controller, fader port. And then at the bottom section, allow input and output track, sync, and remote, and you're done. Most of the button presses are self-explanatory, and the ones that aren't are pretty easy to get familiar with. There are the common pan, pot, mute, solo, and record button. The left and right arrows switch between tracks, and the output lets you go directly to the master fader. Mix lets you switch between session and arrangement view. Project switches between device and clip view. Punch and user are used for your punch in and out switches when you're recording with the loop brace. And conveniently, the loop button is to the right of them. The fader port makes it easy for me to punch in and out when I'm doing vocal takes. You can loop, set your record in and out points, and just click the record button on the bottom of the fader port. I can stop recording and play the tracks on the fly without ever having to touch the mouse. But what I use it for mostly is fader automation. When you're mixing, it's nice to be able to close your eyes and rely on your ears to make a loudness judgment. People who solely mix in the box get too comfortable using automations and their mixes can sound maybe robotic or dehumanized. The fader port is an inexpensive way to get the benefits of a console without dishing out an absurd amount of money. When I first started using it, the biggest shock factor happened after I switched between tracks. It's really cool to see the fader jump around and it can keep my cat pretty occupied. It looks like it was built with quality materials and feels sturdy with solid button clicks. I've yet to have any connection problems or button malfunctions when using this. There's not a lot of bad stuff to say about this, but if I had to come up with something, it's kind of annoying that I have to reconnect it to live every time I want to use it. I don't have to go into the settings menu, but every time I disconnect the fader port, and reconnect it, I have to hold down the stop button and again click the output when it's flashing just so that live will recognize it. So overall, if you're running a small or maybe medium sized studio and don't feel like dishing out the big bucks to get a console, check out the fader port. Thanks for watching everyone. Like this video if you liked it, dislike this video if it sucked. And for those of you who already have the fader port, let me know your opinions in the comments below. Have fun in the studio everyone and never stop making music.